Hello and welcome back to another video. This one is going to be a short one today because I almost lost my chimera and I'm still shaking. Uh, thankfully, it's right here. So what happened is we tried to fly all the way up in the top of those mountains to dive those cliffs. And even though my video was at about maybe 35, 40 megabps, if I remember right, at the top, I somehow lost connection with it. Uh, and the GPS rescue kicked in and brought the drone back home. So let's go and see what happened. Since most of the flight is pretty uneventful, I'll let you enjoy it without commentary. For those of you who want to skip to the incident, there is a timestamp below. At this point I'm nearing the part which I wanted to film in the first place, so I go into full focus mode. RF signal low. In my two years of flying, I had never heard of this warning before. And there was a lot of noise where I was standing, meaning I didn't clearly hear what the warning was about. So I did what every sane pilot would do in this situation and completely ignored it. Until it came again. RF signal low. Now, at this point, the return to home function has been activated, so let's go back and see the sequence of events that led to the signal loss and try to speculate on what might have possibly happened. 
As I'm approaching the spires here, I am about 2.8 kilometers from where I started, and I feel pretty confident. The signal has dropped from stable 50s, but I don't see any suspicious fluctuations that would ring any alarm bells. However, do you see that little drift to the left right about now? That's not me. It might have been the wind, but I've flown the Chimera in some pretty harsh winds and I don't remember it ever sliding like that. But in my head at this point, I'm trying to understand what the warning I heard from the Taranis was about and I totally brush it off. In retrospect, that might have been the first momentary loss of connection. However, during the whole ordeal, I never heard the dreaded telemetry lost soundbite. Moving to the actual signal loss, we'll see the quad free fall for almost a second before it auto levels. It seems like it's trying to lock its course to the home point direction before it shoots up at full throttle for 100 meters and begins its journey home. Now, on one hand, I'm quite relieved to have seen the RTH function work as intended in a real scenario, but on the other hand, I am not sure why the connection loss happened in the first place. My Taranis is set to maximum RF power of 1 watt. The frequency is set at 868 MHz, as I've been told that Vodafone is blasting the 915 frequency in Europe, and I have flown this kind of distances before without much trouble. So I was pretty much at a loss after I landed. But after analyzing the footage and discussing the incident with people who are a lot more knowledgeable than me on the technical aspects of FPV, I believe we have a theory. Or a few. You'll see, at the moment of disconnection, there is a sudden drop in the quality of the video signal. It sharply drops from the 30s to the teens, wobbles about for a bit between 10 and 20 Mbps before it goes back to the low 30s as it returns home. Now, before I took off, I noticed a Mavic flying around the area, and one speculation is that it might have been the culprit, as radio wave interference could potentially cause telemetry loss. Another theory is that it might have been the cliff causing the interference, but I never experienced something like it in the past. If it was a Mavic, it kinda sucks, because as drones become more and more popular, especially in busy touristic places, how are we going to find and talk with every pilot in the area and coordinate our flights? Food for thought for the future. Personally, I always tend to lean towards the most rational explanation. I want to know how things work and why. But in this case, who knows? Might have been gremlins in the quad. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, leave a like for the algorithm, and subscribe to let me know that you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye!